What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Farmville, North Carolina, here on Far uh, Farming Simulator 22. So today, what are those birds doing? Uh, okay, that that wasn't weird at all. Okay, anyways, <laughs> uh, let's go back here and take a look at our chickens here. I'm pretty sure they're doing okay. I just checked them before I started recording. Uh, everything is looking good. Their food is uh, still pretty full, so uh, they're going to be all right from there. And so what we need to do is we have lime in this. We're going to go ahead and empty that out. And we're going to go up to the store. Now, you might be looking at the money wondering where did all that money come from, right? Because last episode we stopped at, or we ended at uh, 2977 Well, I took a $50,000 bank loan uh, so we can get our fertilizer and seed and all of that um, now also I did pick up a skid steer to leave at uh, leave over at the store so we can load our pallets and stuff on our trailer um, the reason I did that is that way I don't have to drive my tractors up there I can just take the truck with this trailer and get it done a lot faster uh, so that skid steer is going to be at the store only. I cannot bring it down here to use. So that's, uh, that's what that is. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and hop right on into this. We're going to get our truck and hook up to our trailer here. And what we need to do is actually, let's see, let's take a look at the field calc. So we have field three and field 12. So the field Field, that's invoices, leased, uh, field calculator. Okay, so field 3 and field 12. All right, so uh, fertilizer, it's going to take 543 liters for that one. And 191. So let's, uh, let's do some quick math here. Get the calculator out. So we're looking at 593.71 plus 191.09 so 784.8 liters of uh, solid fertilizer um, actually we need to do that's right liquid fertilizer that's what we need to do so we have uh, 941 liters of herbicide in there. We'll have to empty that out. Never mind. We're not going to use that. So let's take a look at that again. Of course, it's going to save. So let's go liquid fertilizer. We need 734.01 plus 257.97. So 991.98. So 992. 992 liters of fertilizer uh liquid fertilizer so we'll load that up when we get to the store and as far as seed now this may fluctuate with um precision farming installed i'm not 100 percent sure how that works so as far as seed it doesn't say so we're just gonna we're going to go ahead and let's take a look at our garage. Take a look in the planters. This holds 6,000 liters of seed. So we'll go ahead and just get 6,000 liters of seed. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. If we go into here. And let's see. So we're looking at $900 per thousand. And if we go into big bags, we're looking at $800 per thousand. So we're saving $100 there. And then if we go to pallets, and we look at seed. So, yeah, $50 more for 50 liters more. Uh, no, it's going to be cheaper just to go with the big bags. So we will go ahead and... Uh, pick up six of these. So, two, three, four, five, six of those. That's 6,000 liters. 
to fill up our uh, cedar. So we're looking at $4,800 there. Go ahead and buy that. We'll go back and take a look at our fertilizer. So we're looking at eighteen twenty per thousand. Now it's going to be cheaper than this right here. So we're uh, actually no, we're looking at liquid fertilizer. Liquid fertilizer. So if we go into here, liquid fertilizer. Uh, we're looking at two thousand liters for thirty-two, six thousand liters for ninety-six. So it looks like let's see three six. Yeah, so you're paying more for this. Um, let's see. Fertilizer, diesel exhaust. Uh, okay. So as far as fertilizer, we're going to go with this one right here. So that's 2,000 liters. We only need one of these. Uh, we only need 991 liters. So we'll go ahead and just pick this up. So we got our fertilizer, and I think that is all we need. So let's go ahead and hop into our truck. I love this thing. Oh, it sounds so amazing. So we'll go ahead and back this up to our trailer, get it hooked up. How's everybody doing out there? I am doing fantastic. Hopefully you guys are doing well. And right there. Alright, so we have our trailer hooked up and we may have to actually do a little loop-de-loop -loop to make it out of that gate. Let's see if we can make it around our auger wagon there there's our water trailer that we wasted money on last episode for the chickens because chickens don't need water so <laughs> there we go all right um I'm actually, I'm considering doing auto drive, turning traffic off and doing auto drive, setting up some courses, but I'll do that off camera. Uh, you can see the auto drive there off to the side. But, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll worry about that later. I might do that off camera. So we'll get down here to the store and pick up all this stuff, and, uh, I'll bring you guys back here in just a second. All right, we're here at the store, and we're going to go ahead and pull around the back here. And probably just park right up here next to the building. There's the skid steer that I picked up. So we'll go ahead and just stick that right there. Does this have straps on it? Yes, it does. So that's awesome. Go ahead and shut that off. And hop on into the store skid store uh, skid skid loader. All right, so we'll have to do one bag at a time. I should have went ahead and got the big bag handler uh, attachment for this. We'll go ahead and load up the rest of our chicken as uh, chicken feet as well. So let's go ahead and get this loaded. Can I get two? Yes, I can, and that is way too heavy for this skid steer. So we may end up having to swap this out for like a wheel loader or something. Which is fine with me. Yep, yep. Alright, let me swap this out for a wheel loader to use at the store instead, and I'll bring you guys back here in just a second. Alright, we got our wheel loader here, and we're going to go ahead and load up all this stuff. That way we don't have to worry about weight issues with anything. And we need to raise that up. Bring that up. They didn't have a uh, big bag handler in there 
uh, for this particular, for, for, I mean, for wheel loader attachments, so I don't know what the deal is with that. We'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to work with what we have here. No big deal. Oh, no. I want that to stay there. All right. So as you can see, this is going to take a little while, so uh, let me go ahead and cut here to when we're all the way loaded with everything, and I'll bring you guys back in in just a second. Alright, we got everything loaded up on the trailer. We're going to go ahead and just park this over here off to the side. Right here will be fine. And let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hopefully it's not going to be too heavy on the tongue. I probably should have put those bags a little further back here to the center, but we'll see how it goes. It should be alright. So we'll go ahead and strap everything down and get this thing started up and let's get back to the farm. Hopefully it holds up right. Seems like it's doing okay. So yeah, I'll get back down to the farm and uh, get things set up to start seeding. And uh, see you guys there in just a second. Alright, we're coming up to the farm here. And yeah, you see the traffic, how it's stopping... Like, I'm not even in their way, and they're stopping. That's weird. Uh, could be just their, their hitbox or their, one of their boxes. I don't know. I don't understand modding all that much, but it's probably something to do with their area of, uh, where they could be hit or where they could hit something. But, uh, yeah. We are here at the farm, and we are probably gonna... We need to find a place to park this while we get it, uh, get everything unloaded here. So, I'm actually, let's just take it around through here by the chicken pen. And I think I'm just going to park it right here in front of the garage for now. Back it up just a little bit so we're not in the way of the planter or cedar. And let's leave it hooked up to the truck just for a little bit of stability. Don't want to back it up too far because we got a ditch right behind us, so this should be fine right here. So we'll go ahead and turn that off, and let's get this opened up here. Oh, that's right, you got to. I keep forgetting you gotta open these up from inside the building. There we go. So we need that one opened up and we need this tractor out with the forklifts. Uh, fork, uh, with the pallet forks. So we'll go ahead and hop into this one and get, uh, get this one out first here. Alright. So first thing we're going to load up is going to be the seed, so we will go ahead and get this positioned for the seed, and we'll do one bag at a time on this, we'll just we'll leave that running for right now. We'll grab this other tractor and get our seeder. I could actually, I could probably hook up that weight to the back of, to the back of that, just for a little bit of stability, so I'll probably do that real quick. But we'll go ahead and get our planter out, our cedar. I keep saying planter because it's like a planter cedar hybrid thing. All right. Go ahead and just pull this forward. Right about there should be good. We'll shut that tractor off to save on fuel. And let me hook up that weight, and then we'll go ahead and start pulling our seat off.
So uh, we're going to go ahead and just plant uh, canola for right now because that's where the uh, calendar is at as far as what it can, what we can plant for right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, there we go. Alright, so we got our weight on the back so we don't go flying forward. And let's see if we can get these bags unloaded here. What does it look like from inside with the forks? Not really good at all, honestly. Can't really tell where things are. Yeah, see, that looked flat from inside the cab, but this is flat. So, alright, we'll just stay outside and uh, unload it this way. So we'll start from the front. probably could just back this up to the trailer actually for the seed so I think I might just do that let me just park this off to the side all right so we want canola there's the canola, so we are at a thousand liters of seed. So we'll just go ahead and back this up the rest of the way to the trailer. Should be good right there. There we go. So yeah, we're going to get some progress done on this one. Uh, hopefully get, we'll, we'll probably just go ahead and get both fields uh, seeded. And uh, kind of figure out what we're going to do after that. we got to fertilize and that is not going to reach. So we'll pull forward here. Right about there. Leave that running for a second. We'll just pull the truck up to it. Go ahead and strap that down so nothing falls. Alright, right about here should be good. Go ahead and shut that off. And let's get these last two bags of seed loaded into this and we'll have a full seeder and here's the final 1,000 liters there we go 6,000 liters of seed in the seeder and we'll go ahead and reset those straps so it doesn't spaz out on us and we'll just back this up out of the way what am I what am I stuck on here? Oh, the straps hooked to the uh, <laughs> hooked to the cedar there. I'll go ahead and put those straps on there now. We'll just put that there for now. That should be all right. And is this? Yeah, that's all. Okay. All right, so we are all set and ready to go on seeding. So we'll get out here to the field before we unfold this thing because it is massive. And uh, we'll probably just go ahead and set up right over here to start with. Let's get this thing unfolded so we can kind of see where it's at. So yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the uh, all the series and the content and everything uh, that's been coming out. And uh, 
we've uh, made some major progress over on Western Wilds. Episode 9 should be out at the time of this, uh, this video's release. So I think what we're going to do is we'll spin around so we can line up with the edge a little bit better on there. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, episode 9 and 10 of Western Wilds. We've got some major progress done over there, so be sure to go check out those episodes. And I'm thinking right here should be good. Hopefully we don't clip that building, so let's see if we go one is on, two is lower. We may end up uh, editing this just a little bit over here just to get it off of that building a little bit more and uh, probably go ahead and plow in those those uh, liquid marks in the ground like runoff marks and hopefully we don't get caught up on this tree we may have to get rid of some trees yeah we're gonna have to get rid of this tree right here so hopefully See, I don't have a chainsaw already, so let's go in here and get... Just pick up a chainsaw. Alright, chainsaw. We'll alt that. And... Boom, those trees are gone. We'll go ahead and get rid of this one as well. Alright, trees are gone, and we may end up having to just go ahead and get rid of this one. Just to be on the safe side. Alright. That's done. And now we can continue on with our seating. I'm not going to worry too much about edges on this deal here. Just because it's kind of a pain in the butt. With the way these field shapes are. But I like it. So uh, it's, it's different. Let's see what we can do here. See if we crank it like this. We should. We'll just miss that little corner there, but that's alright. I need to figure out GPS. I don't really use it a whole lot. make this a whole lot easier but right now I'm just doing like headland passes so so it does connect that field all the way so that's nice and I'm just gonna go ahead and stop right there we don't own that land we'll go ahead and pick up that cedar back it up here drop that back down it's a very uh, very odd shapes to the uh, to the fields I don't know exactly where the edge of the field is but that's going to tell us right there There we go. Oh, a little bit of lag spike there. So this is going to be an interesting little spot to hit. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it all the way forward as much as we can. And then I'll lift it up and back it up here. Yep, 
Yeah, we may do some editing on this uh, on this field a little bit. Get rid of this little notch. And bring it off that building just a little bit. So let's... Back this all the way up out here. And I'm going to back this in. And then open it and see where I'm at. And hopefully knock out that section in one... One little pass there. I can get this thing to back up. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's uh, let's unfold it right here and kind of see where we're at. Yes, I know I need to unfold it. That's what I'm trying to do. But I don't know why it will not unfold, so... There we go. Now it's doing something. <laughs> My goodness. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is... kind of a pain in the butt but that's all right we'll get it all sorted out but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and knock out this field and get the other field taken care of and then i will bring you guys back in as soon as we are done and uh check out the finished product all right we just got done seeding uh field 12 so field 3 and 12 are both seated and done and ready to go we just got to throw some fertilizer down but as you can see it's dark so when we get back to the house with this we're gonna just kind of park it outside and then we'll sleep real quick and uh get it back to daylight so we can see what we're doing here make sure we swing wide enough to get that cedar out So uh, I'm thinking we'll just park this right in front of the, the wash area since we got to wash it anyways. And I am caught up on the gate. So we may end up having to make some adjustments to the gate uh, as far as getting in and out. Let's back out here and turn just a little bit wider. That should get us in, I think. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So we'll go ahead and shut this off. Turn the lights off and all that. And uh, let me sleep real quick and then I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Alright, so we got the... We got sleep done. And we are... Going to go ahead and wash off the cedar since we're not going to be using it again uh, right now. Alright, leave the tractor running. So, uh, I'm thinking what we're going to do real quick after we get this done and put up, and we'll fertilize the fields. But after we get done fertilizing the fields, we'll take a little drive around the map and kind of check out some other areas. And I uh, definitely want to go up to the top of the map there and, and see what those uh, fields of trees are looking like. Alright, that's done. Go ahead and... Oh, it was already running. Duh. Alright, so I'm thinking we're just going to... Just for easy, uh, easy, quick access and everything. We're going to bring this around. And you can see our field already has weeds on it. And it's already sprouted. So we need to get that taken care of, like, immediately. So the first stage of fertilizer we missed out on, which kind of stinks. But, you know, it is what it is. 
So we'll go ahead and drop that right there. And we're going to go ahead and get backed up to our sprayer. And I uh, want to... Looks like we got some eggs producing over there, so that's nice. I want to actually go ahead and just unload this stuff that's in here. So if I hit this button right there, that should take care of that. And I'm just going to back right up to the trailer, or pull up next to the trailer. Which one is the fertilizer? It's going to be the second one. So I want to be on this side. So let's see if that'll reach it. There we go, we got fertilizer. We'll just go ahead and top it off and empty out what we don't use. And store the pallet. Alright, so this is actually going to be the second stage of fertilizing since we didn't get the first one, so it's already sprouted. But, uh, that's alright. We'll just miss out on the yield. Now, I am going to be doing the mulching and all of that, mulching and rolling and all that stuff on the next round of uh, seeding and, and stuff like that so we can get better yield. I'm uh, trying to fully understand the mechanics of the game a little bit more uh, when it comes to getting better yield. Because, you know, before I would just, you know, plant, or uh, I, w I would, you know, plow, cultivate, uh, yeah, plow, lime, cultivate, seed, fertilize, weed, fertilize, and then harvest, you know. Uh, but... Uh, I want to definitely get into more in depth with uh, with this stuff. So let's go ahead and get this thing unfolded. It's going to be a pretty big sprayer, so we should be able to knock it out fairly quick. I think what I'm actually going to do is come over to this side and start over here. So. Get it lined up with the edge pretty good. And this thing turns very quick. Back it all the way up to the edge here. Right about there should be good. So what we're going to do is go ahead and fire it up. And we'll get turned around so we know which direction we're turning with this thing. My goodness. I almost want to go just uh, solid fertilizer so we can use that trailer. Be a little bit better than using these extended arms and stuff, but I don't know. We'll see. It's kind of a slow working speed, to be honest with you, like with this big tractor. I think it'd be a little bit faster. We may end up just getting rid of that tree right there, which I think we're going to have to. So let's turn that off real quick. Get rid of that. And let's get back to it. I'll probably get rid of a couple more trees off camera in this area. Just because it's going to be a real pain in the butt to work these fields. With all these trees, I like to have it wide open as much as possible. I do like the uh, the feel of it though. It's, it's very nice. I think we may end up getting rid of this sprayer. Just because I don't like having to fiddle with it like that. Coming around curves and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get 
uh, both of these fields sprayed, and then we'll come back and start checking out the rest of the map. So give me just a second, and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got the uh, fields are all sprayed and ready to go fertilize. We need to go ahead and weed them, actually, and I do not have a weeder. I have some herbicide that I could spray, but you get a, a yield uh, impact on that, so... I'm thinking about just going up and picking up a weeder real quick and hitting these fields with it. So let's drop that right there and let's take a look in the store real quick. And see what we can find as far as a weeder. So if we go to weeders, uh, we want to actually get a hoe. So this one right here is 51,000. We don't have enough for that. This is a weeder, 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 and this is a hoe. It's 4.6 meters. It's kind of small, but it's only 5,200. So go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and throw all the warning stuff on it. And guide cutters, coulters, nah. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and buy that. And I'll go up to the store, pick this up real quick, and then uh, meet you guys back down here at the farm. All right, we're back at the farm here, and I've got our weeder. And we're going to go ahead and get these fields weeded real quick. So if I just go ahead and set that down, we should be good to go. So this is going to take a little while since this is a small weeder. Uh, we didn't have the money to get that big, uh, or the hoe, I'm sorry. Uh... We didn't have the money to get that bigger hoe, so I'm not too concerned about that at the moment here. So let's uh, get our headland passes done, and then we'll start working our up-downs. And I'll get with you guys here in just a second. Alright, we just finished up weeding all the fields, and you might notice we have a different hoe on the back of our uh, tractor here. Well... The other one was just taking way too long, so I sold that one. It took a little bit more of a loan to get this one. And, uh, yeah, got it done a whole lot quicker than it would have taken using the other one. So we'll go ahead and get this one washed up. And we'll go ahead and wash the tractor while we're at, while we're at it and get it parked. And uh, then we'll uh, take a look around the map a little bit kind of check out some of the areas we haven't been to yet all right we've got the tractor parked back in there all that stuff is unloaded so what we need to do is uh we'll leave that open for now we'll go ahead and park this trailer back around the side of the garage here right about there should be fine so we'll go ahead and drop that right there and let's go take a little drive around the map here so i'm thinking what we want to do is, let's take a left and keep going straight and go up to the, uh, go up to the, uh, lots, uh, the, the field, the trees, <laughs> the forestry area. So let's go left out this way. We'll go ahead and get in inside the truck here so it's a little bit quieter. So we need to go straight here. Yeah, let's pull up our map so we can see. So if we continue on up here, they should be up here on the right-hand side. Yes, here is one of them right here. So let's go on the outside so we can kind of see here. So they're all in like different stages of growth too, which is really cool. So you got a couple of plots that you can work off of. Uh, we'll check out the prices for those here in just a second. And then uh, then it turns back into regular woods. Now it goes back a little ways. So let's actually, let's cut through here real quick. Yeah, it goes back quite a ways. You got some area over here. That you could possibly turn into, uh, cut all these trees out, turn it into some farmland if you want to build your own custom logging area. Very nice. 
lots of trees to go cut down out here. So you got another one up here on the left. And the road loops all the way around. Very nice. Very nicely done. Absolutely love it. Definitely have to check out some logging. Another area over there you can cut some trees out and make some uh, storage or uh, park your equipment. So let's head on back out to the main road here. And let's head up to... Let's go up towards the uh, animal dealer. And check out that side of the map. Everything in between is pretty much going to be just your your uh, fields and whatnot. So, uh, not much to see there. Can't really see anything right now with this. That's a tree. Looking at the map, not where I'm going. Alright, we'll go back inside the truck here. Pull the map up here so we can see. And uh, we're going to come around the sunflower field to get back out to the main road. Definitely a lot of potential out here in the logging area. Uh, you can clear one entire plot out, take that money and, and uh, set up a big farm. And uh, continue logging from there. So we're going to go out this way, and I believe if we take this road up to the intersection and make a left, and that will take us all the way up to the animal dealer. I do think I'm, uh, I'm going to turn off the traffic, and that way I can set up some uh, auto drive uh, courses and stuff just to help the production move along here on the farm. Uh, this, you know, it's not really a survival save. It's not really a, a you know, role play or anything like that. This is just a uh, basic playthrough of farm sim with uh, decent starting money, starting equipment, and whatnot. So, I'm not too strict on the rules and whatnot on what I can and cannot do out here. So, looks like we've got a little... What is that? Oh, that's the spinnery. Okay. Uh, then you have your animal dealer up here. Very nice. Love the buildings and the layout of the fences. And then we're at the edge of the map, so... That's kind of what we're looking at here. Very cool. That'd be, that'd be even cooler if there were, like, animals walking around and stuff inside of all those fences that'd be really cool so from here let's um let's go see what those three buildings are off to the side there so we're going to come out and make a left here and i'll leave it on the outside so you guys can see the map just a little bit better nice big fields and stuff out here very uh organic shapes all the drainage ditches are very cool. Nice touch. So we'll come down here to this intersection and we'll take this little split to the left. See what this... Yeah, see, this. that's why I want to turn the traffic off because they do that. That's very weird. Nice big field of sorghum over there off to the left. So if we follow this all the way up. See what these three buildings are out here. You got some little starting areas if you wanted to do like a role play map. Uh, you could definitely do that. Little houses and whatnot. Uh, out here if you want to put like a sleep trigger down. So this out here. Well... There we go. Is just an empty field. So on the map it shows some buildings, but there's nothing here. So you can definitely uh, make a, a field out here. Or uh, make a farm, build a farm out here. 
So you got some nice fields off to either side of the uh, ditch there. But uh, that's the edge of the map there. And then we're going to come down and cut right down that center uh, center road in between 56 and 54 there. We're going to take that turn if we can stay out of the ditch. And come down that road. Uh, check out those little plots along the way and see what we have. So that other uh, that other dot there, the two dots, one down there below field one and one over there by field 15, those are just the train spots. Uh, so we'll have to check out the pricing before we go to sell our crop to uh, see who's offering the better deal. So we're going to make a left turn here. And looks like we've got a little starting area here if you want to start out with a medium-sized field and and a little trailer uh, do some small small farming there and then we'll come up here and check out this other one coming up on the right or on the left sorry uh, oh yeah this this is nice look at this nice big field here little house and then you got the uh, farmhouse over here you can always put sleep triggers down if you wanted to uh, use these as your farms. Very nice. So we'll uh, we'll actually go ahead and make a right turn here and head back on up to the farm. And I think that right there is just a tutorial trigger in the middle of that field. So we're not going to concern ourselves with that. Make that map smaller. And we are back at the farm. So there's there's a it's a pretty good sized map. Um, obviously, I didn't just show everything, but I just I wanted to go up and check out the animal dealer and the trees, the logging area. Uh, but uh, it's a pretty decent map. I like it a lot. Uh, there's a lot of potential here for like role play stuff. If uh, if you guys wanted to do that with a group of friends. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and shut that down and see if we can get out of here and get this door closed. So, uh, that is going to do it for this episode, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like bucket. Uh, blah, 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 bucket. Hit the like bucket. Uh, hit the like button. And, uh, feel free to comment down below with anything, uh, any tips, tricks, or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one.